Hey everyone, Robert here, and welcome back to another episode of Sound Strategies. If it's your first time joining me, I invite you to hit that subscribe button below and click the little bell for notifications on more videos each week. I had a number of you reach out to me and ask about acoustic treatment, how to set it up, how much do you need, and how can you make the most of what you already have? And that's what this video is all about. I want to begin by thanking those of you who connected with me about this issue. This channel is for you and your benefit, so your engagement really helps me to build the channel and provide more value to others. So again, thank you. To begin, I want you to imagine that you're standing in front of the Grand Canyon. If you shouted into the canyon, you would hear an echo. Why? Because the hard surfaces of the canyon cause the sound to bounce back to your ears, resulting in an echo, a repeat of the sound you shouted into the canyon. So now imagine the same scenario in a forest. You shout into the forest, but you do not get the same echo returning to your ears. Why? Because the sound is not able to bounce off of a smooth, hard surface. It just continues to move away from you. What sound does bounce off the trees is more random and less focused than the canyon. So this principle is similar to the sound reflections in a room. Simply put, if you talk into a wall, that sound will bounce back if the wall surface is smooth and hard. If you cover the surface in a softer, more absorptive material, less of the sound will return to your ears and the result will be less of an echo. So this is the basics of acoustic treatment, to minimize the amount of sound returning to our ears in the listening position. So why should we use the acoustic treatment? One of the biggest factors that affects the quality of your mix is the room that you're mixing in. The early reflections from smooth surfaces in the room will color the sound of the listening position, and this can influence what we hear while we're mixing, and that's not what we want. We want to minimize that effect as much as possible. But you don't need a ton of treatment to get good results. In fact, there may be already a bunch of objects and materials in your room that will help to minimize reflections. More about this later. So what does acoustic treatment actually do? There are two types of acoustic treatment, absorption and diffusion. Absorptive materials work to absorb sound and suck up the reflections within the room. Most of this stuff is going to be more effective with higher frequencies than lower frequencies. Whereas diffusion spreads apart standing waves and works to break up and randomize these waves so that they have a more even array of sound dispersion. In this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about absorption, types of absorption, and how to install these panels without wrecking your walls. So where do you want to put the treatment in order for it to be most effective? This is the most frequent question that I got asked, and I can give you a couple of simple tips to get started. We want our treatment to improve the sound of our listening position, as this is where we're going to be mixing from, so we want to optimize our available treatment to make this position sound as good as possible. To start, you want to treat the walls closest to your speakers and to your ears. This will include the wall behind your speakers and the wall to either side of the listening position. This is going to help to cut down on the reflections that are pointed directly at your ears. If you only have a limited amount of treatment, this is definitely the place to start. Place some panels behind your speakers and to either side of the listening position. For a more aesthetic solution, foam tiles and rock wall panels are definitely more effective and nicer to look at than anything else. Next, we're going to talk about how to arrange these panels and some effective ways to mount them. So I bought some foam panels off of Amazon, spent about $200 and got two corner base traps, 12 corner edge base traps, and 24 one foot square, two inch thick foam panels. The biggest struggle that I found was getting them to stick to the walls. No matter how many command strips I used, these panels would just not stay on the wall. The issue was getting the adhesive to stick to the foam, which was a really weird texture. So I found a neat solution using spray adhesive to mount the foam to cardboard. And then I put an old binder with a weight on top of the panel to help them get to know each other a little better. So this worked for about 25% of the stubborn foam panels. The spray adhesive was messy and smelly and I had to do it outside in the garage. So I'm thinking the cold wasn't really helping the adhesive because after all, I'm shooting this video in February in Canada. So yeah, it's pretty cold. So then I decided to use acrylic latex caulk to tack the cardboard to the foam. And I found that that's been way more effective. Then I used some command strips to mount the cardboard to the wall. The foam is pretty light. So I only used two command strips for each panel. Make sure you firmly press the panel to the wall for about 10 to 20 seconds for a strong hold. 
Now the most effective use of this treatment is to place it higher up in the room. Begin by treating the walls around the speaker height and, and your ear height, that level and above. I don't know about you, but I don't usually check my mixes sitting on the floor, so there's no point in wasting your treatment down there. Next, you wanna make sure that you spread out your panels. Doing so maximizes their effectiveness and allows them to absorb sound from as many different directions as possible. That's why I chose the checkerboard pattern behind me. It offers more absorption and it also looks super sweet. A secondary benefit to acoustic treatment is that it looks awesome and professional and any clients that you bring into your studio will get a better impression from seeing a treated room. It shows that you take your craft seriously. In my mixing room, I have some acoustic foam on one side and a checkerboard pattern. And on the other side, I have some foam as well as a bookshelf. And the shelf is filled with books and DVDs and notebooks and anything else that's going to help to break up the sound waves or absorb them a little bit. Objects and furniture are great for diffusing and absorbing sound. In fact, just having more stuff in your room will help to cut down on the amount of echo. This increases the amount of randomness of the surfaces that the sound can bounce off of and will result in more diffusion. So bookshelves, carpets, blankets, a mattress, a couch, all these things are going to help to absorb some of the sound and make your room sound better. Even just covering a smooth surface with a towel or two can really help. And one last thing that I'll share with you is called the mirror trick. Simply sit in the listening position and get a friend to move a hand mirror along the walls until you see a reflection of one of the speakers. This is going to be a point of reflection and will be a good place to place your treatment. So in conclusion, there are two types of acoustic treatment, diffusion and absorption. A combination of both will be most effective. Start by treating the walls closest to your speakers, behind the speakers and to either side. The most effective part of the room to treat is up high, so the area at speaker height and above. Use spray adhesive or acrylic latex caulk to mount the foam to cardboard for a stronger mount to the wall. Make sure to spread out the treatment for best results. Place bookshelves, furniture, and other stuff in the room to add extra absorption and diffusion. And when in doubt, use the mirror trick with a friend to inform some of your placement choices. I hope this video has been helpful and in the future, I'll do a video about how to build some rock wall panels yourself, which can be much more effective than just using foam. Check the description below for some Amazon links to the acoustic treatment that I used and feel free to leave a comment about how you place your treatment or what kind of treatment you find works best. Thanks for watching and bye for now.